Oh, well, we certainly weren't get. We were passing up shots to make plays, and when you're having trouble scoring, you know, we constantly preach is never pass up a good shot. And I thought there was four or five times whether <coughs> whether defenseman had it or forward had it, and we'd fake a shot that would, we had a good direct line so we could look for a better play. And you can't do that when you're, you know, I mean, you score your goals by shooting the puck and going to the net, and that's how they got theirs, How that's how we got ours. And uh, you can watch every highlight uh, almost of every game, and that seems to be what the majority of the goals are. But we just didn't do it enough. What kind of explanation did they give you on their goal? Um, that it was a good goal. I mean, that's what they said and uh, we it didn't hit his stick and uh, it looked like when we just watched it a lot there it looked like Alsner it hit Alsner's stick and and went in the net so like Gabrick didn't even see where the puck was I mean it hit him I think in the arm but it I don't think he directed it at the net at all Oh, obviously, you know, we scored, uh, I think it was 90-some goals last year on the power play. That's one a game. We're, we're in our 20s still at 40 games. So, so I mean, uh, that one goal a game, you know, it constitutes the difference between people saying we're not an offensive team to, a, uh, to an offensive team. A goal a game, it goes from 2.80 a game to 3.80, which was what we had last year which you know was the best in the league so uh, you know when you're not scoring on the power play things aren't working there's a lot of things that it encompasses brings in into play did you guys push it obviously in overtime you struggled in that area in terms of like, well, nine. yeah well we went for the goal i mean we didn't get it but you know nothing different though than what you've done well i mean just defensively you know is we haven't lost the overtime games because of lack of offense it's because of poor defense and and we we talked about how we have to play uh, in in the overtime and we talked about it again on the bench and I thought we did a real good job of it and you know there's no secret when there's a a turnover in overtime you go you know you just the defense jump into the play it's a, uh it's it seems like it's an easy it's not it's not rocket science and um, Marcus and, and Hendricks did it, I thought, pretty well in the overtime, and and they had chances to score. Marcus was at least partially responsible for that uh, overtime goal in Philadelphia last week, and, and yeah, he was out there uh, a few shifts tonight. Did you have any discussion with him between then? And yeah, and I mean that's the only way young guys learn. We showed him what he did wrong, and uh, now you throw him back out there and and say, listen, we're giving you another chance. See if you learn from it, and he did. I thought he did good in the overtime. Alex was joking about having all goalie in the last couple of games. Uh, it, uh, over the last few games, have you noticed uh, any change in energy output in him, or the way he's approaching games, or is it just out for something? Well, the way he's approaching games, I don't know, because you know, I mean, that's all mental. And uh, uh, but I, I thought he had more jump in the first period. You know, uh, you could I, to me, it, his speed has increased recently and his puck handling has increased uh has gotten a little bit better and i mean again tonight he had uh, i thought two really good chances to score and sometimes you get them and uh years some years they're all going in and some years they're not going in and uh he's got a he's you know fighting for every goal he can get this year well of course we'd like two goals and three assists every game but we're not getting it. I don't know. It just looked quicker. It looked like, you know, I mean, he was making moves while he was skating, whereas before he'd get stiff-legged and try to make moves around guys, like, by, by not uh, generating, it, moving his legs. And you saw in the second period he got a puck at the blue line, and he, and he was going full speed, made one move, took a great shot, and, you know, and... Uh, uh, I think you missed the net with it, but it was it was a great opportunity, and that's what you're used to seeing when you're talking about Alex. Have you seen him more willing to go to the front of the net and sort of crash there? You even got him involved in a bit of a shoving match. Yeah, like he's been he's he wants to score. He's going to the net. He's going wide. He's you know driving 
uh, White, it's, uh, there's a lot of good things that he's doing offensively. I mean, he just, uh, you know, didn't score tonight. I thought, uh, you know, he did really good. I mean, the only goal that beat him, I mean, you know, it was uh, it was a goal that uh, even the Rangers didn't know they scored. But uh, uh, so when you only when you hold a team to one goal, it, the goaltending, you know, for 30 shots, he did did very well. I wasn't nervous, you know. I mean. He was a little overly aggressive, I thought, but uh, I mean, it was his first shootout in this league, and it's, he's, he's an aggressive goaltender, and we don't want to want him to change his spots.